friends welcome to part five. Oh my gosh we're literally on part five for the series if you're still here you're a champ you're here you're making your vtuber i'm so proud of you let's go okay so we're gonna be working on our eyebrows next so let's create a new folder and call this uh brows actually let's call it brow and move in all your brow why uh all these different brows into the brow folder and then we'll organize them once we get them in there Okay, so the order you can do is brow L Y, brow R Y, brow L X, brow R X, brow L angle, brow R angle, brow L form, brow R form. So for each of these, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a three shot keyframe. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and open your drop downs here. We're gonna go into the we're doing brow Y first. So remember what I said, Y is up and down. So you're gonna go to your brow. Mm, we'll start with we're gonna start with our brow L warp here. So you can make sure you're on brow. L warp. You don't need to worry about position or angle yet. Make sure you're on the top one. Brow L warp. What we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and drop our three frames on the brow L Y. So let's do that. So remember neutral is here and then up is going to be this far right. So go ahead and right click the snap and then I'm going to hold down shift key to bring this up. That looks about good to me. And now we're going to right click snap to the left dot and we're going to bring the brow down. Don't worry about anything else except moving up and down right now. So now we got up and down. I'm going to move that a little bit more. Okay, cool. So now we got up and down for that. And now we're going to do the Y for the right eyebrow. So go ahead over back to your hierarchy over here and switch to your brow R warp and make sure you're on that. And then we're going to go ahead and click a brow R Y in the parameters over here and drop our three dots. So now we're going to go snap to the right. And remember, right is going to be up. So we're going to move this up. You can also go ahead and snap your brow Y over here to make sure you're aligning them at about the same angle because that would be you don't want one eyebrow to be randomly higher than the other or maybe you do who knows so we'll have that go up and then we're going to go down and we're going to snap this one down too so we can see all right now both of those are down so we should have eyebrow moving up for each one so that should be good to go i'm going to control s and save my work cool so next we're going to do x so x is going to be back and forth i don't even know why this is a thing because i don't think like most of us can move our eyebrows left and right like unless you're an alien or something like i don't know maybe you are Tell me if you can move your eyebrows left or right. Uh, drop that in the comments if that's something you could do because that you should be in the Guinness Book of World Records. Okay, so brow LX. We're going to just go back to our brow L warp. And for this, you could still stay on brow L warp. That's fine. So let's go to brow LX. We're going to drop our three dots with the three here. We're going to go snap to the right and we're going to bring the eyebrow to the right over here. And then we're going to snap back to middle. Just test it out. Good. Now we're going to snap to left and move our eyebrow to the left. So now we should be snapped to right and left. Cool. And we're going to do the same thing for this brow R x make sure you click on that here and then go find your brow r warp in the hierarchy okay now we're going to drop our three dots again we're going to do the same thing and i'm going to move this eyebrow over so i can see how much it is so let's go there and then we're going to snap uh back and go snap to your left for brow r x and now we're going to move this to left there okay so cool that should be good. Let's check this one too. Awesome. So we'll snap both of those back. And next we're going to move to brow angle. For brow L angle, now when I go to my brow L in the hierarchy over here, make sure you click on the brow L position for the angle. So next click on the brow L angle hierarchy here. So make sure you drop down and you click on the little child of the parent because we want to make sure you attach the keyframes to this one instead. So for brow L angle, we're going to click on it in the parameters as well. Remember, we're going to drop our three. Next, we're going to be doing the eyebrow angles. So so it's going to be a little confusing here, but bear with me. You're going to go to brow L position in your hierarchy, but you're going to go to brow R, a brow L angle, and you're going to drop your three points for brow position, even though you're on brow angle in the perimeters. And what we're going to do is go to our right click here, and we're going to go ahead and rotate that. Okay. And then the opposite for this way. And I'm just going to rotate it very slightly for that one, just a little bit. And for brow R angle, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to brow R position here, but in the parameters, go to brow L angle, drop R3. And we're going to do the opposite here. So we're going to tilt it that way, left when we're to the right point snap. And to the left, we're going to tilt it inward. So they're both going inward. There we go. So you can see how that moves there. And we're going to snap both those to middle. And now for the form, we're going to go to brow L angle and go to brow L form in our parameters, drop our three. We're going to go to the brow L form left point here. And we're just going to pull this down a bit. So we're going to be pulling our green points down, sort of like you are sad. You're going for like that sad brow look. And if you feel like things feel awkward or aren't looking right, part of that has to do with we don't have, at least I don't currently have the best 
mesh assigned to the eyebrow to give it its best chance at deforming and actually looking good. And again, that's something that comes with time. You can look up on the Live 2D website. There are guides that show you how to create custom meshes for specific things like eyebrows or eyes in order to get the best result when you're warping it. Because remember, we're warping a 2D image right now, so it's really hard to get those good results unless you mesh it properly and draw it good as well to give it its best chance. So ours might be a slightly wonky here. I'm okay with that because again, this is teaching purposes. I'm trying to give you guys the basics, but if you want to get it to look better, if it's not looking right, I'd recommend going to the Live 2D Cubism site so that you can see how to custom assign meshes to your eyebrows so that it will look better and maybe not look so wonky. So that looks decent for that eyebrow. I'm going to say that's pretty good. And now to the right, I'm just going to pull it up very ever so slightly. I'm not going to do anything crazy here. So we have it warping a little bit. And then we're going to do the same thing for our R brow. But remember on the higher key over here we're going to go to brow our angle but in the parameters brow our form drop our three then we're going to go to our left side first we're going to snap to left point and we're going to pull it down and i'm just going to set that other one over there too so i can see what it looks like to try and match it you really want to focus on pulling these green points for the most part you can activate the purple points as well but i like to use the green more again sometimes we want the purple like right there that purple helped us i'm gonna pull a purple here as well because green gives you overall it gives you largely more control i'd say all right i'm gonna say that's good and now again i'm gonna snap to the right for each and then pull this guy up a bit okay so now that should be good now i'm gonna snap everything back to middle and i'm going to save as version 3.4 so that i have another version saved with major changes and now i'm gonna export it we're gonna go test it again in PRPR live. So let's export that 3.4. Once we get into PRPR Live, we're going to load in our latest version. So I'll click load 3.4. I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to have to exit out of my three teens because I can only use one camera at a time. Hold down Alt and scroll wheel to scroll into my avatar. And I'm going to go to face capture settings and start cap. And now that looks like those eyebrows fly way too down. So we might want to adjust the sensitivity there. And again, we don't have to worry too much about that, but see how it's a little bit off too. I'm gonna, gonna, definitely gonna wanna go back and fix that because it looks like they're not completely right. But you can also fix some of that here in the settings. So like left eyebrow, my, I think it's my, let's see, my left, let's turn that up a little bit. I'm gonna turn that up and that down. So you can adjust settings in here too, if you want. So again, that's fine. I, I got those adjusted. So I'd say that looks pretty good for this. So remember you can adjust those settings if you need to, but now we have looks decent, but if we don't want that to fly under our, her eyeball, we'd want to go back and make adjustments and maybe make it not go so far down on the X axis. So if you're running into that issue, definitely check that out. But see, we got our eyebrow movement good to go now. So if you're having issues with that, you know, you can go in, you can adjust this. This is what the mesh looks like here. You see how this isn't very even and the triangles aren't even. That's why we're getting such a wonky look when we're over in PRPR Live, bringing our eyebrows down because it's stretching the mesh awkwardly. So again, if you're running into that problem, you're going to want to do a custom mesh most likely. And again, you can find those resources on the Live 2D Cubism website, you know, how to get the best possible mesh set up here so that when you're warping and deforming, it's going to look the best that it can possibly be. So that's going to be it for this video we're just doing eyebrows i want to try and take it slow i know the series has been super long guys again thank you for bearing with me it's a lot but i'm really really proud of you and taking it one step at a time is going to be easier probably both on you and me it's going to make it a little bit of a longer series i don't want to cram 100 things into one video to make it 20 to 30 minutes long so we're just focusing on eyebrows this video next video we're going to do blinking eye blinking and that's what we'll focus on in that video and that'll probably just be what the next one is going to look like so thank you again for sticking with me. If you guys are interested in joining a really awesome community, if you need help or just want to talk to other VTubers or artists, we have a huge VTuber art community over in the Discord. You can find that link down below. We'd love to have you there. And definitely check out the YouTube live streams, which is every Friday at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. Or you can check me out on Twitch at Monday or Wednesday at 1 p.m. Mountain Time. And uh, yeah, so thanks for hanging out with us. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.